Well, well, well. Good morning, everybody. It's your old pal Seven here, and as you can see, I just woke up. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm tired, and it's almost like Christmas morning, isn't it? Look at this, look at this. We have another update from our new favorite video game, Enlisted. So we're uh, just going to sit down and read through the patch notes and uh, talk about it a little bit, all right? Yeah, this is exciting. This is very exciting. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> excuse my language, but uh, I still can't highlight. So uh, I'm just going to have to get real close to the screen. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to read. Uh, I'm sure you guys understand. All right, here we go. <clears throat> In this update, the previous, previously announced Hardcore Lone Fighters mode <laughs> uh, everybody's talking sh about it, but guys, it's a beta. Just let's try it out. Let's just see how let's see how we like it before we complain about it, huh? Maybe doesn't that sound like a weird concept? Maybe we should try it before we say we don't like it. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm sure a few of you gentlemen have heard that line somewhere. <laughs> this isn't the same thing, but trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And they're adding a new uh, mission to the Normandy campaign, which is whoop, awesome. That is super cool. All right, so everybody's playing Normandy, right? Because it is currently the you know the free. <laughs> it's like it, it is. It's the it's the new free campaign. Uh, Berlin is what's hot, but you ain't getting in there for free, motherfucker. Uh, and we still tested it, too. It is unbalanced. Trust me. I don't want to hear people complain about how imbalanced Berlin is. All right? Berlin is good the way it is, I think. But that's my personal opinion. You don't like my opinion. You don't have to watch my, my videos. Isn't that weird? <laughs> we are also continuing to improve your game experience. Yes, you are. Okay. I, not, I didn't record... When I started playing this game, I can't. It was over a year ago, I think, and it, it was rough compared to where it is now. It is night and day. I was honestly shocked when I came back to this game after a year of not playing it. Okay, the engineer's old rally point will automatically be destroyed after building a new one. Thank you. And. Uh, this might be a point of contention uh, for some people saying, well, why do you need to make it easier for people to... Why? Because uh, the <laughs> not everybody, you know, is an armchair general or understands, uh, you know, the constructs behind strategic warfare, right? You know, you're not going to get... I mean, we want... People who don't pl normally play shooters to play this game with us just so we grow our community, right? But yeah, I agree with this change. This is a positive change in the right direction. Yes, just allow someone to just build a new fob. That is that is awesome. That is going to make more people want to play Engineer because they're not going to get so fucking frustrated. Oh yeah, I forgot to destroy my fob. It's like uh, 400 meters from the objective. I'm not gonna run that far. <laughs> yeah, that is that is probably one of the most significant changes uh, to encourage people to play engineer is just allowing them just to build over their fobs. That is a uh, that is awesome change. I love that. Yeah, a plus on that one. Uh, artillery nerfs. I'm sure they're going to go into more detail on that, and uh, uh, I am, imagine you guys uh, were expecting to watch me jump up and down on this silly little computer chair like Yosemite Sam, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to do that because I am getting tired, and I just woke up, just like many of you. But here we go. Nerfed artillery thing. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what that is. I hope they just. I hope they just right into the ground. That'd be cool. Oh, we'll see. If it, if they add another 18 seconds, I guess. Uh... <laughs> uh, Y'all have pitchforks, right? <laughs> That's just a joke, guys. Don't don't show up at my house in black shirts. That ain't gonna end pretty for either of us. Trust me. <laughs> All right. 
Historical sites for armored vehicles. Uh, yeah, historical sites are uh, good because they were uh, historically designed uh, for the guns that they were mounted to, right? Yeah, you know, those little ticks and numbers. And all, all that stuff means something, and I hope that it really is represented accurately in this game at some point. And it's, it's pretty good now. I mean, it is really damn good now, but... Yeah, we'll just, we're going to have to load up the game and see, right? We can read this all day long, and we will, because uh, I take forever to do anything. Just ask <laughs> anybody who knows me in real life, they'll tell you. Like, don't, yeah. <laughs> AI soldiers will now make room for you, as in get the f out of your way so you don't get shot uh, behind cover. And become more efficient at navigating terrain. Okay, we're going to test that out. Uh, I'm going to load up a game of hardcore, like, immediately as part of this read. Just because I like to do one-offs and you're just going to see whatever gameplay I come up with or that I get. Let me just turn up my little ears here. Make sure I'm all good. Okay. So the bots are going to be better. Uh, that is obviously exciting because holy shit people complain about the bots in this game why do they complain about the bots you remember when we were excited to have bots in video games you guys remember when we used to get excited because that meant that you could play with <laughs> when your friends weren't around we're like yeah it has bots that's cool what happened to that huh okay oh it's a little little eye drop action there just so I can squint and read because I cannot highlight any of this. Improvements, missions. New mission on the beach in the Invasion of Normandy campaign has been added. <laughs> yeah, another beach mission. Yeah, people, we want to see more of those beach missions, don't we? We definitely like those ones. You will start at a different section of the beach in Operation Neptune. Awesome. So some different scenery, but still ending up in that town. Okay. I like that. So it's it's similar enough, but it's a different approach, so it's different enough. This is gonna be this is gonna be cool. I can't wait to see that. Additional shelters and a number of visual improvements have been added to the airfield location in the Invasion of Normandy campaign. Uh huh. -huh, -huh, -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, a couple more places did not get shot. <laughs> and airfield's probably a good thing. Oh, my eyes are burning. Oh, holy crap. Gameplay. Sections of the interface have been hidden in the Lone Fighters mode. Yep. I say, excuse me, let me take my gum out so you don't hear that, that annoying-ass noise anymore. Yeah, in hardcore, generally, the interface is reduced severely. Uh, the idea being that you were meant to rely on your senses a little bit more, right? And that's why a lot of people don't like hardcore, because where the UI at? I'm going to get team killed. I'm going to get team killed by the guy using a smooth jazz signboard. Well, yeah, maybe. But holy shit, guys, it's not that, it's not that scary, right? It's not that damn scary. People aren't scary. <laughs> They really aren't. We're shooting them, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, players who repeatedly damage allies. See, this is a self-correcting issue because people already don't, or say they don't play hard or <laughs> lone fighters because the experience sucks. Yeah, that keeps them out of the damn game, doesn't it? Because all they care about is grinding. I like grinding too, but, uh, you know, it's just like a little mini vacation, right? You lose some of their experience if they shoot allies. Yes. Isn't that weird? Guess what, buddy? You don't level up. Yeah, and remove from the game session. Thank you. Get rid of the troll. And uh, I don't see it here, but they did mention uh, possible temporary bans from that mode for people who do it repeatedly. And I, I agree with that. Uh, but there should also be another layer that if you uh, get banned repeatedly in that fashion, perhaps you should get a hardware ban the same way that we hardware ban hackers, right? So nobody likes hackers. And you know what? I've noticed a few guys. And there's no damn replay system. So. Or not yet. I know it's coming, guys. Please don't get angry with me or impatient with me. I know it's coming. Just like everything else. 
But my goodness, there's some there's some people out there, and uh, I've been accused of hacking a couple times, and I always laugh because I said, you know, just watch watch my videos real close, bud. You you could see it's no aimbot because I'm not accurate. I just <gasps> I have quick reflexes, right? And I wear headphones. These are 7.1s. Trust me, that surround sound in a closed ear headset like this, you can pinpoint if somebody's off at like 120, you just, you you just immediately, it's instinctual at some point once you become used to them. Get a nice pair of 7.1 headphones, trust me. For hardcore, you're going to need them. You're going to need them. They don't have to be like $300, <laughs> you know, top of the line. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll, I'm going to look into it and try and figure out what a good surround sound headset would be for this game for the price. And I will recommend that to you guys. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> By building a new rally point, the old one will be destroyed automatically. Yes, that was covered. Uh, but it does need to be reiterated because, holy hell, this... <laughs> You you hear people talk about quality of life improvements. As someone who plays engineer, uh, as my first squad pick, 90, 95% of the games that I'm in, this is that was probably the most irritating thing about playing engineer. Aside from not being able to build your fob on any more than like a two degree angle, that can be irritating. That can be pretty irritating. Uh, control point markers and training will now be displayed on the mini map. Well, you should probably increase the size of that little thing or give us the option to uh, modify its size and transparency. Just saying. Just saying, guys. I was saying a tutorial for navigating the game interface has been added upon reaching the second level of a campaign. An ad a tutorial that kicks in after the player has experienced the game for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I... I don't know who suggested this, the tutorial for that second tutorial popping up to help with the interface, but yeah, by that time, uh, people are probably wondering what all that sh is in their inventory. <laughs> That's about the time I started actually really looking at it. If you'll just excuse me one second. Uh, it's one of the blessings about living in the Pacific Northwest with allergies. Uh, you know, we have a lot of green stuff around here, a lot of flowers, a lot of trees. It's a beautiful place, but if you have allergies, you, you start to wonder what the desert is like. <laughs> right? There's yeah, there are a few people out there and understand. Okay. Uh, rally point. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, ammo and healing requests are not blocked while a player behind a stationary machine gun. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have much experience with uh, stationary machine guns because I like to uh, move. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. So we'll just ignore it. In the conquest mode, a message now appears indicating that the available squad responds have been exhausted. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Operation of the console aiming assistant has been improved. Does that mean the PC version controller aim assist is better too? We will test that. I do have a controller that I play with uh, uh, because uh, sometimes, you know, my wrist just... Like everybody else, right? You, pl you play with your mouse too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, you play with your mouse too much, your hand starts to hurt. Isn't that weird? It's all about balance, kid. <laughs> oh, that's fucking weird. That's weird. Okay. The crouch position can now be set to toggle separately from the crouch position to hold. Oh, that. Mm. Now, I'm a, a filthy uh, drop-shotting piece of sh as many of you know who uh, face me in-game. And I've, I've seen a lot of people complaining about drop-shotting. Uh... Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, you can go. I mean, everybody's got everybody's got a rifle, or no, somebody's got a rifle, or hell, you can just take a damn broom <laughs> and just try it out. Just try literally going from a standing position onto your chest and your belly, and see if you can aim that broom real quick. Like, and, and it's something about the shape and size of a human being. It's not that difficult, uh, and it's actually an effective tactic. 
uh, to to go prone that quickly if you're under uh, like machine gun fire. Wow, the quicker you get down, the quicker you get your weapon on target, the less likely you are to die. Drop shotting is not Hollywood bullshit. It's just, uh, yeah, it's something that you might find yourself doing uh, because you weren't paying enough attention to where the enemy machine gun nest was, right? Yeah. Huh. But we will uh, play around with that and see what that means for our gameplay because obviously I have <laughs> I have my crouch and my prone on right mouse button. Uh, if anybody, if that makes you lose respect for me, uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> I really don't. My aiming is on shift though. You go, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? I'm left, guys. I'm left-handed. Okay, I'm left-handed. <laughs> it's not weird to be left-handed. It would be nice if we had uh, <clears throat> the tooltip for the controls reflect what you change the bindings to, because I struggle with that immensely. I don't know if they change it yet, either, though. But, uh, who cares? Let's keep going. AI soldiers. Now, this is what uh, I'm very excited about, because the AI is the most interesting part about this game. And it really makes me fucking furious when I see people complaining about AI being in their matches. It, I mean, fuck off, man. Like, this is, just, this is part of this game experience. Like, this is what makes it unique. That's why squad modes is fun. Because, you know, you might only have 24 humans in the match, but there are hundreds of toy soldiers shooting at each other, throwing grenades at each other. That's a cool experience. You know, you had planes crashing on the ground, bombing shit, tanks. Yeah, it gets pretty intense. AI soldiers will now change their holding position. Jeez. Oh, if the player gets close to them. Previously, the AI soldiers stayed in cover and should could interface interfere with the player's position in the last sight. Again, guys. Yeah, that's tragic. That is tragic. <laughs> uh, getting out of your way when you're trying to uh, get to cover, uh, programming them to do that will ease some frustration. Yeah, I, I absolutely ease some frustration. The order to attack a vehicle will now be carried out by just one AS soldier able to perform the order. Oh. You mean like we do. Interesting. So you studied how we fight tanks. That's cool. Yeah, sending only one is uh, generally how you do it too because you only need one guy to take out a tank with an anti-tank weapon. That's the idea. <laughs> That's what those things were designed for. Okay, AI soldiers have received improved pathfinding and will no longer occasionally jump when responding. I've never seen them do that, but doing a little bunny hop after you spawn, that's tradition, bud. You don't want to, that's, that wasn't a big deal. We could live with that. <laughs> we used to do that shit in Counter-Strike. <gasps> it's just a joke, guys. Calm down. Artillery nerfs. <clears throat> you have no idea how happy I am. I am making happy doctor noises right in here, right now. They're so loud in my head. Holy sh... Oh, let's read them. Let's read them and try not to get too excited. Uh, only one artillery strike per team may now be active at any given time. <laughs> oh, so we're not going to open up our map and see literally 10 red circles spreading the entire game area and just going, well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we're not playing the game this match, guys. They have 10 fucking artillery then. That's how bad it was. You would literally have almost an entire team using this sh first thing out the gate. That is a problem. Or was a problem. Look, only one artillery strike per team may be active. Look, see, they fixed it, guys. I can handle one red circle. Anybody can handle one red circle. It's when you get, like, five of the damn things, or seven or ten of them, and they just... Because people aren't idiots. You're not going to put your artillery strike right over the another guy, so they would overlap. It was unintentional, obviously, but if you had an entire team, you could literally cover... Um, a good portion of the map and keep it completely suppressed and inaccessible to other infantry. This is a good change. Only one at a time. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys get one of these for that. You guys get one of these for that. Yep. Peace, baby. 
There's a reason why this symbol is universal. Everybody knows that means peace. Fuck yeah. <sighs> Artillery can no longer be activated during the first minute. You get a whole minute to set up your fobs. Oh, you know what they call that? You know what they call that, guys and gals? They call that the soldier's minute, right? And it's it's a sick joke. It's a sick fucking joke where, you know, we tell each other everything happens at once in a minute. You know, everything. And you're forever changed after that one minute. Never the same. Okay, uh, that's going to be a positive change because, I mean, I don't, why do I have to tell this to you people? You don't want to get nuked as soon as you start the game, right? Everybody didn't like that. Everybody's going, yay, I don't get artillery on me when I spawn in the first few seconds of the match. Boop. Awesome change. Cool. <clears throat> the preparation time for initial artillery ranging shots has increased by five. You have more time to get the F out of the circle, guys. Look at that. Yeah, see, that is really just meant for punishing campers. That is a good change. I like that. Upgraded artillery. Ugh, oh, the word still hurts. <laughs> now only gives a fourfold reduction. So it went from eightfold to fivefold to fourfold, so... Uh, that would take it to roughly, it's it's going to be very close, it's going to be one minute. It should be exactly one minute, correct? Because it was four minutes, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it should, one minute, yeah, one minute's pretty fair. Yeah, okay, I like that. Oh, see? <laughs> I told you guys I can't see. <laughs> yeah, 60 seconds, one minute, yeah, that's fair. One minute of peace, and then one minute of, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, see, that's not too drastic in making it useless. I think this is a good balance that we can play with and give our feedback on. And if we still don't like it, uh, guys, uh, don't yell and scream about it, please. That doesn't get anything resolved. The only reason that they're talking to us now is uh, because we have an awesome community and leaders in our community that took the time to reach out to these people and just tell them, look, hey, uh, we can work together, bud. We can, we can all make this dream happen. And look at this. They, they are listening to us. Artillery has been neutered. Thank goodness, too, because we didn't just we didn't need this. We didn't need it. For, uh, <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. I can't wait to test this out. You know, we're not going to get gameplay. I need to get some breakfast to be. So we're just going to hurry the hell up and keep keep on going. My goodness. Artillery ranging shots now do less damage. Yeah, because they use different ammunition for ranging shots. Right? It's like uh, a lot of tanks had ranging uh, machine guns, right? Where the velocity of the, the bullets leaving that machine gun would be similar enough to uh, the cannon shell that you could fire a few of those and get a rough idea. You know, if you didn't, it wasn't that important. Like, if you're taking out, like, a pillbox or something, unlike a tank, you know, a tank has weak spots that are small. But if you're really aiming, like, a pillbox, you just pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah, we're, we're on target, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh! The basic bomb armament of the BF-109 G6. That's the one in Normandy, guys, has been changed from 1 250 to 450s is awesome. That is that is fair as hell. I like that. Those fitties. I mean, P51 gets a different kind of fitties. Uh, you know, the machine guns. <laughs> I hope that they give the P51 two more of those hunters, because those hunters are. Oof. <laughs> I know. I just need to practice with them, but you know. Okay, graphics, animation, interface, weapon, and vehicle cards in the campaign menu have become more interactive. Oh, that's cool. By clicking on them, you get additional information about vehicle weapons. Nice. Hopefully some historical information included in that. I'm sure it's already all over. I like that. That's why we're here. <laughs> the animation smoothness of controlling the cannon. The cannon. Okay. Has been improved in the camera till the playing controlling it has been changed. I'm assuming they're meaning tanking. Uh, 
probably lost in translation. That's fine. We're going to do some testing and we're going to try and figure out, you know, what all of these bullet points really mean for the gameplay. We will do that because that's what I do. <laughs> A graphical charred body f effect has been added for soldiers. I really hope you uh, uh, make that part of the gore that you can turn off. I hope that that is off if you turn gore off because there are those of us who... I mean, there's a reason that's there, right? I don't want to see that sh... I don't want to see blood and gore. That's why I turn it off in my video games. Okay, that... I really hope... Uh, yeah, see, there's more... There's more. a little more about gore. We can talk about it, but... Yeah, appearance of torn off body parts has improved. That's that's uh, just, uh that's that is what it is. <clears throat> New status display for AI soldiers has been added to the interface. Interesting. Oh, we have a lot of testing to do. We have a lot of testing to do. The tooltip display that appears while in a burning tank has been changed. Now it is specified that before ex extinguishing the fire, you must leave the vehicle. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I've met a bunch of people are trying to find why can't I put the fire out when I'm inside the tank? That doesn't make sense. Fire extinguishers work inside tanks, guys. Yeah, they do. Uh, having to get out to extinguish it is kind of weird. I mean, normally you just pop open, you know, one of your roof hatches and use the extinguisher while you're inside the vehicle. I mean, you are getting shot at. It's better to be inside there with a the fire than it is out there with an MG42 that's literally just pinging thousands of rounds off your armor every few minutes. But, you know, everybody has their personal taste. <laughs> the number of mines carried is now displayed on the interface. If, for example, a soldier has a bag for explosion packs. Oh, yeah, okay. See, you remind yourself that you have a few extra booms on you, yeah? It's useful. Those explosive packs are useful. I like those things. Okay, shadow quality on low graphics setting has been improved. And by improved, I hope you mean it. Uh, you made it more difficult for people to turn the graphics down and see people a little better. So if that's the case, you get a big old double double thumb. You get a double thumb for that. Oh yeah, we definitely need to make a low graphic setting bypass is not a thing in this game. Somehow, some way, even if you have to use 2D sprites <laughs> and make it ugly as sin on low graphics. Uh, I mean, no offense to those pe fine people who can only afford to run it on there, but they have services that you can pay that are pretty cheap where you can just stream games. Uh, I can't remember what the hell they're called. Stadia sucks, but NVIDIA has their own. I'm sure somebody will leave it in the comments. Few few of our people use it, so they can play this game on max settings, and it looks like a damn movie, right? Okay, moving on. <clears throat> economy, economy. Okay. The grind. Let's address the grind. Let's address the grind. Experience standards in squad and lone fighter modes have been increased. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you add more campaign levels onto a game like this, you know, increase in the experience makes sense, right? You, the more content you have, the more grinding is required to own that content. So yes, as you add more content, you want to increase the rate at which experience is gained. Otherwise, you get a game with you know, inaccessible mountains of, oh, I wish I had this and that. It's kind of like how War Thunder feels, at least I assume for a lot of people. It's just, the grind is so excessive in that game that uh, you may be interested in modern equipment, but, or you may only be. It, I, I've, I've talked to people that are only interested in modern equipment, and they say, well, I don't want to play War Thunder because I either have to play or pay hundreds or thousands of dollars to get the equipment that I'm interested in, or I have to play for, dedicate months of my life playing vehicles I have no interest in. Yeah, they really shot themselves in the foot on that one. They really did. Okay, uh, the correlation between experience points and points gained in the battle has been adjusted based on the battle statistics for these modes. Killing opponents while defending points will not earn players additional combat. Oh, wow, so if you stay... On the objective and kill people, you get more experience. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Yeah, people stay on the damn point instead of going, okay, we got B guys. <laughs> and then before you know it, you're the only person on point, and there's four squads of Germans or Americans or Russians or whoever you're playing against outside the door with grenades, and you're just like, well, I guess we lose the point, guys. Thanks for. Like, do you guys even have. Are you listening to Sabaton? Like, what's going on over there? 
<laughs> you know, you guys know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. That's funny. Okay, sound. The sounds of shell explosions and artillery shots have been improved. And by improved, I hope you mean... Uh, boop, 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 boop. Okay. The display of the current volume level has been added to the settings. Okay. We'll see what that means. The sound when you press and hover over interact inactive interface buttons has been disabled. Don't know what that is either. Sound. I just yeah, yeah. okay. You will not only hear sounds from enemy rally points and not friendly points. You will only hear enemy. Oh, that no, that is good because I uh, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen a couple of my videos. Uh, I listen for fobs, right? I don't look for them. I listen, and a lot of times. Uh, because I can't physically see my mini map well enough to discern information from it, um, I'll hear a friendly fob, not check my map because I'm getting shot at, and just go look at it anyway. And lo and behold, it's our fob, and I shot it anyway. And thank, thank, thank goodness there isn't friendly fire in squads because you can destroy fob in a few shots. So that is a good improvement. Ours should be silent. It, it doesn't make sense, you know from a realism standpoint but from a gameplay perspective yep yep that's a good change yep uh, fixes okay we're not going to go over fixes uh, because fixes are just fixes right uh, we might go over them later possibly but we're, we're here mostly for that new content right so we're going to load up uh, a little game of Lone Fighters I haven't decided which campaign I'm... Oh, we're going to do Berlin. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play a little Berlin today just for fun because Berlin is... And I am going to play for Germany because Germany, as everybody knows, is currently losing a lot of Berlin. Yeah. So what that means is we got to go in there and not feel bad about doing whatever the hell we want to win because they don't win. So if we win, I'll be doing them a favor and... <laughs> Everybody be happy, right? Everybody be. The Russians will be happy. They actually have a challenge. We'll be happy because we want to match and get a little experience toward that new. Oh yeah, is that part of this? Let's take take. Let's take a little look. See here, huh? Nah, it's not out quite yet. Nah, just the uh, the hardcore is though, and that is exciting. So once the uh, new campaign levels, you can see I'm level. Oh my goodness! See, I always, <laughs> I always click the wrong buttons. You know, the, the this interface out here could definitely stand a little, little ease of use update just for those of us who aren't quite eagle-eyed, right? <laughs> Why do you always complain so much? Well, because that's what I do. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna load up a game, Alone Fighters Hardcore, and. Yeah, I'm going to cut to there, and I will see you out there. Oh my goodness, hello everybody. But we're just going to keep our voices nice and low, because this is hardcore mode, yeah? This it is. This is hardcore mode. Taking a look, yeah? Just getting our bearings right now. We're taking a look at our map. And we're gonna do a nice little lineup because we don't have all those markers. We have to use our senses to drop those bombs. Yeah. Okay. Point A. I don't see any action, so I'm not going to just drop my bombs and potentially kill my teammates. That's not how this works. And that's why people were worried about hardcore, because they're worried about someone going up in a Stuka and just literally nuking their entire team. Apparently, I can't ask for spotting, which is interesting. So we're going to get out of this Stuka. Just for now, just for now, uh, because that's something that I'm going to have to uh, learn on my personal time, I think. I need to just load up just a normal little squad, 
and just kind of see what this hardcore mode's about. We gotta feel it out a little bit. You can still see your friendly markers, that's a good thing. Yes it is, that gives you more information. Lots more information. Take a look at a map. Just take a look at a map. Oh yeah, we don't have a squad. <laughs> oh, see, I was sitting there trying to give orders to my squad. Isn't that funny, guys? <laughs> That's cute. Let's just take a little look, see around here, and see if we can't see if we can't just say hi to somebody, huh? Hi there. Yep. Got him. I for sure got him. I saw him. I saw him go down. I should have held my shot a little bit longer, but that's fine. Yep, hi there. Did not hit him. Did not get him. We just woke up though, so that's okay. We're a little tired. Put our eye drops in, our eyes are still a little blurry. <laughs> Nobody plays 100% all the time, though. That's okay. We're just going to take our silly little sniper here. Oop. Oh, see? See, I told you he's silly. I told you this guy is just a little little weird in the head, but so am I. I like people like that. Crazy people are fun. Hi there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hi there. Yeah, you're still moving. I see you're still moving there, bud. Got him. Okay, he shouldn't be able to get up a second time. It looked like he fell backwards that time, so I would assume that he would not be able to revive. Okay, he's dead. Just take a little look around. Taking a little look around. Huh? Someone's shooting at me, which means I need to reposition. I need to reposition. Yep. Shooting at my friend over here. I should probably help him out. Take a nice little look around, see if we can't. Okay, yeah. I still didn't see him. <laughs> that's just how war is, though. Uh, you know, that's how war is. You know, everybody thinks it's like the movies where, you know, you're squaring off and everybody knows where everybody is, but this shit is terrifying. Because you don't know where they are most of the time. That's why it's important to spot for your team and let your team know where the enemy is because uh, that's the only way you don't you know sh your pants and have a damn heart attack because this you know this there's a reason this game is intense for some people because this is a little too close to home for some people it really is it really is I'm just gonna take a nice little look see I'm providing overwatch right now I think I got him. I think I saw him fall over, but I'm not 100%. He might have just dove. He might have just went prone. So let's just be careful. Like, what? What is this guy doing? Like, what are you doing, dude? Why are you getting in front of me to act like in John Cena or something and give my position away and then get shot in front of me? Like, dude. Now I see why people weren't excited about hardcore. What a dickhead. That guy was a dickhead. Now my position is completely compromised. Okay, let's try this again without that idiot. <clears throat> okay, I hear someone. Yep, missed my shot. Missed my shot. Missed my shot. Gonna pull that stook out again because I'm just a little angry about that. Yep. Sorry guys. We're gonna test this. <laughs> I wonder if you can kill your team with it. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. Boy, I, I do love hardcore though. I am enjoying this for the immersion aspect alone. Just for the immersion. Just for the immersion. And this is going to be immersive right here. <laughs> that was immersive as sh wasn't it? <laughs> and there you have it. Guys and gals. 
uh, that's hardcore and uh, why you probably shouldn't just drop bombs without the information and support of your team. Because that's what's going to happen to you. And then you'll end up right back in here with everybody else. So take my advice. Uh, yes, learn how to fly and learn how to drop bombs. But uh, doing so blind without the assistance of your team, it's going to cost you. And you don't want it to cost you. You want to go up the ladder, not down the ladder. <laughs> Boy, isn't that fun though? Isn't it nice when you like shoot someone? You have to actually like watch the reaction, like it actually would have been in real life. That's cool. Yeah, my heart is just. <laughs> and this is where we're gonna end it, actually, because I just wanted to demonstrate. <clears throat> uh, and that did so perfectly. That guy on my team that just got in front of me and took hits, and then got me hit and spotted for no reason at all like that that infuriated me right and that, that's what people are worried about is idiots like that but those people like you would, would imagine will give up on this game mode because they'll get frustrated because they can't figure out why that doesn't work <laughs> and then they jump in their bomber and drop bombs and get kicked and lose experience and then well they do look where they end up again right back in the right back in the tutorial <laughs> Right back in that damn tutorial. Boy, howdy, that, that's stupid, man. We really... I hate to do it, but I just got to put her away for a little bit, you know? I, I just have to reorganize this into something that's a little more comfortable for me. Yeah, okay. Where's my engineers at? Where are my damn engineers? Hi there. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Right where you should be. Uh, hi guys, I missed you. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Seven out.